By far, one of the biggest headlines going into the Beijing Winter Olympics is the fascinating story of Eileen Gu, an 18-year-old girl born in San Francisco who two and a half years ago made a surprising decision that she would represent China and not America at the 2022 Winter Olympics. In today's video, I'm gonna break down why her story has caused an outrage amongst the US skiing community, but most importantly, I wanna share with everybody the real reason Eileen Gu has chosen to represent China instead of America. Grab your popcorn, it's going to be a fun episode today. Let's start from the beginning. Who is Eileen Gu? Eileen is the child of a Chinese mother, an American father, and grew up in California. She learned to ski in Lake Tahoe and has received the bulk of her training in America. Much more than a skier, Eileen has an impressive list of accomplishments at only 18 years of age. She plays the piano, other sports like golf, nearly achieved a perfect score on her SATs, and will start her college career at the prestigious Stanford University this fall. Finally, Eileen is also an accomplished fashion model with companies like Louis Vuitton and Tiffany & Co building an entire marketing campaigns around her. It seems there is nothing that this young woman can't do. But not everybody in America admires the path Eileen has chosen for her career. Jen Hudak, a former Winter X Games gold medalist for the United States women's team, recently shared her thoughts on Eileen. It's not my place to judge. But Eileen is from California, not from China, and her decision to ski for China seems opportunistic. She became the athlete she is because she grew up in the United States, where she had access to premier training grounds and coaching that as a female, she might not have had in China. I think she would be a different skier if she grew up in China. Now, let's break down these comments. And first, I do wanna recognize the truth in Jen's statements. There is no doubt about it. America invests a tremendous amount of money into its Olympic program. And no doubt, American coaching and training have benefited Eileen. She most definitely benefited from living in America. However, coaching is only half of the equation. The other half is raw talent, and this is something that cannot be coached or developed. You were either born with it or you were not. And Eileen's talent in skiing is second to none. She is expected to sweep the three events she will compete in and realistically can walk away from the 2022 Winter Olympics with three gold medals. Jen Hudak doubled down on her comments. This makes me sad. It would be nice to see the medals going to America. Sure, we can speculate that Eileen would have been a different skier if she grew up in China. But when you have the most talent in your sport, it doesn't matter where you grew up, you will rise to the top. A great example of this is the NBA superstar Giannis Antetokounmpo. Son of Nigerian immigrants to Greece, Giannis was born in Athens and as a child worked selling sunglasses on the sides of the streets in order to help his family survive. Giannis eventually started playing basketball and battled extreme racism growing up in Greece, but he was born with the talent of being one of the best basketball players on the planet. Eventually, Giannis made it to the NBA and last year won his first NBA championship with the Milwaukee Bucks. Greece has a decent basketball program, but it could never compete to the system of coaching and developing that America has developed. Did Giannis's childhood in Greece change the type of player Giannis grew up as? Of course it did, but his raw talent still brought Giannis to the top of the basketball world regardless of what country he was born in. I think Eileen fits in this category. Her training and lifestyle would have been different if she grew up in China, but her raw talent would have been the X factor that brings her to the top of the skiing world no matter what country she was born in. But what is the real reason that Eileen Gu decided to represent China. Well, let's go back to June 6, 2019, when she made the formal announcement on her Instagram account and wrote the following. I have decided to compete for China in the upcoming 2022 Winter Olympics. This was an incredibly tough decision for me to make. I am extremely thankful for the US Ski and Snowboard and the Chinese Ski Association for having the vision and belief in me to make my dreams come true. I am proud of my heritage and equally proud of my American upbringings. The opportunity to help inspire millions of young people where my mom was born during the 2022 Beijing Olympic Winter Games is a once in a lifetime opportunity to help promote the sport I love. Through skiing, I hope to unite people, promote common understanding, create communication, and forge friendships between nations. If I can help to inspire one young girl to break a boundary, my wishes will have come true. Love America, love China. 
Let's break down Eileen's comment further to understand this very important decision. The first thing she mentioned was the difficulty in making this decision. There is no doubt that Eileen loves America. It is the country she knows best, and like all Americans, we absolutely love our homeland. However, notice the next thing she says. I'm extremely proud of my heritage. Eileen's mother, Yen, is from Beijing. Growing up, she was a strong tiger mom, first introducing her daughter to skiing and making sure her daughter never forgot her Chinese roots. One of the best examples of this is the flawless level of Mandarin that Eileen speaks. In America, it's not always easy to raise children to speak both English and Mandarin fluently, and I can speak from personal experience on this. My wife is Chinese. She speaks fluent Cantonese and Mandarin, and despite having a father that also speaks Chinese, we struggle to speak enough Chinese in the home. Our family's main language is English, and although our children are learning Mandarin, they do not speak it at a fluent native level. To be honest, this is something my wife and I really do need to improve on. What I really love about Eileen's decision comes out in the next sentence when she says, the opportunity to help inspire millions of young people where my mom was born is a once in a lifetime opportunity to help promote the sport I love. With Beijing hosting the Winter Olympics, this was a major factor in Eileen's decision to represent China. Winter sports is growing tremendously in China. Over the past 10 years, millions of Chinese have started to learn winter sports, and even Chinese President Xi Jinping has said he would like to see some 300 million Chinese start to participate in winter sports. But the Chinese need a hero. They need someone they can look up to. Snowboarding is already extremely popular in China. In fact, earlier last month, I had the chance to interview two of China's top Olympic snowboarders, one of whom, Liu Jiayu, already claimed an Olympic silver medal in the 2018 Olympic Games. However, China doesn't have enough talent in skiing, and Eileen Gu could single-handedly change this with her performance in Beijing. Finally, let's look at the last statement Eileen said in her decision. Through skiing, I hope to unite people, promote common understanding, create communication, and forge friendships between nations. The United States and China's relationship is at an all-time low. Meanwhile, Asian hate crime in America, most specifically towards our Chinese-American community, is at an all-time high. Instead of thinking Eileen is ditching America for China, I want to challenge everyone to think of this in a different context. Eileen represents the future of our world. In 2013, National Geographic published a special edition entitled What Americans Will Look Like in 2050. And this was the girl that graced the cover of this issue. Look at her. She is absolutely stunning and represents the future of our world. A world that will see more mixed race children and more cultures and nationalities blended together. I have to be honest, I'm a father of three mixed race children and I am raising my children to be world citizens. I want my children to be extremely proud of their Chinese heritage. I'm an American and German dual citizen. My wife is Chinese Canadian. Our daughter was born in Hong Kong. She has passports from each respective place. And in the future, let's imagine that our daughter becomes an Olympian. She could represent the United States, Canada, Germany, or China. Whatever country someone represents comes down to a personal decision, not a geopolitical one. However, not everyone agrees. Julian Ku, a constitutional law professor at Hofstra University and prominent voice on Chinese American issues went on to state, she's an athlete, but she made a political kind of decision to leave behind the US and become Chinese. I don't think she can dodge that anymore. Today, athletes in America talk about non-sports related issues constantly, sometimes unsolicited. The politics of her decision are ugly. Julian is of course speaking to the United States decision to implement a diplomatic boycott of the Olympic Games as they accuse China of human right violations. But Professor Ku is placing athletes in a difficult position. At the end of the day, athletes don't want to be involved in a geopolitical conflict. There are more important things in this world to focus on. When pressed for an answer on her decision, Eileen stated, I'm an athlete, so I just do what I love and I try to tell my own story. I love skiing. I love fashion, I love school, and I love my friends. I'm an 18-year-old girl growing up, and I just want to share my story. And so that's the only thing that I can do. As we conclude today's video, I want everyone to hear the words of Jeff Ruffalo, a former Olympic volleyball broadcaster and publicist who spent the past two decades working for Chinese sports events. The Chinese are very emotional people. They don't show it, but when the door closes, they become very emotional. And they know this woman, 
who is the best in the world has come to them. They are saying she chose us. This matters to them. It means a lot to China that she chose them. Now at this point in the video, I would like to share with everybody my thoughts on Eileen Gu's decision. I believe that her decision to represent China is a mature decision of a young girl that realizes a rare opportunity before her. If she represented America in the Olympics, how many young American girls would she inspire to take up skiing? The reality is very little because American skiing is already so developed and the market is so saturated. Even if Eileen went to Beijing and captured three gold medals for Team USA, it really wouldn't move the needle for female sports in America. However, by representing China, Eileen has the chance to not only move the needle, she would become the needle in China. She single-handedly could inspire millions of young girls in China to take up a sport. Imagine Eileen sweeps and wins three gold medals for China. This would inspire an entire new generation of female skiers inside the country. 20 years from now, China could become one of the most dominant countries in the world for female skiing. And the next generation of female skiers would all say the same thing. How did you get started in the sport? Well, it all started when I was a young girl in China and I watched Eileen Gu come to our country, represent China and win three gold medals. It was right there at that point that I knew I wanted to become an Olympian and follow in Eileen's footsteps. Because of Eileen, I'm here today as an Olympic champion. Now, of course, I'm only speculating on what China's development in female skiing will be in the future. But again, this is the opportunity that is presented to Eileen Gu right now. And it's also the very reason that every single sports league wants a presence inside of China. The NBA, the NFL, NHL, MLB, Every single major league from the United States wants to have more exposure to China and all of them dream of having an athlete from China competing in their league. By far, the clearest example that we can give here is the effect that Yao Ming had on growing basketball inside of China and the NBA's brand inside of the country. One player can single-handedly change the entire game, and this is the opportunity that Eileen Gu has in the palm of her hands. Everyone, I wanna thank you so much for making it to this point in the video, and the 2022 Winter Olympics have officially begun in Beijing, and I will be tuning in these next couple of weeks and making sure that I support these games, support the athletes, and support the amazing stories that they represent. Imagine if the world's best skier wins gold at the Olympics and somehow brings the United States and China closer together. That would be a gold medal for the future of our entire world. Everybody, I wanna thank you for your incredible support. And if this is your first video of mine that you're watching, I invite you to hit that subscribe button, ring the bell for future notifications on videos. And also, if you're interested in helping this channel grow even faster, make sure that you check us out on Patreon and come and join our team, where every week our Patreon community receives exclusive podcasts and updates from me as we continue to grow this channel and help more people around the world understand China. Everyone, my name is Cyrus Jansen. Thanks for spending some time with me here on YouTube today, and I look forward to seeing you all in a future video.